here we go in the middle of the MCG once more. A delightful bounce for the second time. Now Cripps and Murphy should affect the clearance. Presence at ground level for the Blues. Blues have set up reasonably well here behind the ball, but it's gone forward and it's gone to Cripps. It's gone to the skipper, and oh. he's gone for the goal umpire. And that is magnificent roving. Great stuff from the Carlton captain. It's Phillips for Carlton. Up against Jenkins of the Adelaide Crows. Umpire called play. I don't even know it bounced over Jenkins' head. Crouch for the Crows with six. It's another one for Cripps. Both teams setting up with a loose. Carlton's is a kick away, whereas Adelaide's is just off the back of the stoppage, more an attacking position. So Cripps worrying them. They're putting a hard tag on him, and he gets the free kick for being held. Just caresses it to the top of the square. Kaz Bolt! Up he goes. Gets under Teague. They've actually lost those games. We might be on for that kind of scoreline today, the way it started. Crouch set upon by Cripps, who reefs it clear. Tries to get it out to Kerno and he does murmurs. Cripps had 13 and a goal. As Phillips goes up over the top, Murphy trying to soccer it clear. Cripps on the chase. He'll get there first. Just bats it inside forward 50. Second in the AFL for contested marks per game. Harry Mackay, look at that work from Cripps. Looking for Murphy. Sloan kept at it, laid the tackle. Murphy still able to get it to Cripps for another possession. Of the team, we've seen the big bodies back in there. The difference that it's made for the Blues. Cripps again reading the ruck work. See whether he's putting real time into Patrick Cripps. So Nick Revolt bringing up the uh, perennial question about do you bring in young players into a bottom side or get some blokes with some muscle. Make Murphy kick the long ball in. And Murphy drops the ball 10 metres short. Walker's kicked the last three goals for the Adelaide Crows. No Ruckman decisive. Another free kick spotted. It's going the way of Carlton. So 10-4 now out of the centre. The Blues. Sloan loses out again, gives away the free kick to Cripps. Goes long inside forward 50. The Ruckman goes down there again, and he takes the mark. Phillips got rid of O'Brien. O'Brien nearly kicked the pack 10 metres forward. He's a big right foot there. Elapsed. That'll work for David Teague and Carlton. Adelaide playing catch up here. Cripps, another possession. Just enough room for Walsh. And Plowman and Simpson enjoyed the walk back to the defence. The blue collar defense of Carlton. They... 23 points the margin. Can the Crows get a goal inside forward 50 this time? Carlton have the numbers. Three in a row for the first time in three seasons. Let's get it on. So O'Brien gets up, and it's Phillips who gets the tap, and there he is again. Poetry in motion as Patrick Cripps goes long up towards McCarm as he pushed out. Eight points. Swing some moves. Do something. And there's the free kick count that's got the Carlton fans up in arms. Plus eight for Adelaide. Phillips brought it down. Just eluded Walsh. High contact they want and they'll get it. The captain and the ironic cheers at the MCG. From this part of the ground around the country, Cripps... Off the outside of the boot a little. Particularly with the wall, Carlton have been able to set up. Phillips, great ruck work. Look who's got it again. Cripps setting it up for Centerfield. Bending it, bending it. Listen to the G. So Sloan doing his best up forward there for the Adelaide Crows, but it's Cripps again who gets the break. 